Today we're going to go over how to adjust the valves on a VH4D Wisconsin internal combustion engine. This is the engine. First of all I want to explain to you how the um, combustion process and the different strokes of the piston takes place. Right now you can see this is the number one piston, this is the number three, over here we have the number four piston and then we have the number two piston. The firing order on a VH4D is one, three, four, two. To explain it, we'll, what we'll do, we'll start the piston on its intake stroke. So as you can see right now, the number one piston is at the top dead center. As it moves downward, the intake valve opens. As it opens, it draws in the fuel-air mixture into the intake and into the combustion chamber. As it continues around, the intake valve closes. The fuel-air mixture that has accumulated in the cylinder then is compressed by the upward motion of the piston. As it comes to top dead center, 23 degrees before top dead center, the ignition ignites the fuel-air mixture, which an explosion takes place inside the cylinder, and it pushes the piston back down. As it pushes the piston back down, once it re reaches the bottom of its um, power stroke, it starts to come back up. As it starts to come back up, the exhaust valve opens, which takes all the burnt gases and pushes them out the valve and out of the exhaust port. So you see it's coming back up, and the exhaust valve's closed, and now the intake stroke starts all over again.